Hey, everybody, all the Metagrid users around the world. It's me, Paul. I welcome you back in my studio in this very new year, 2021. I hope you're good. You're looking for new chances, new prospects, new projects in what you do. I actually am, and my hands are busy from the very first days of January. So my Metagrid is also on heavy duty with me. Today, I would like to show you how to customize Metagrid, how to make it look and behave your way. Let's get into it. And today, we're not gonna get into any DOS, timelines or projects. We're gonna stick to one of my iPads because you actually configure and customize your Metagrid using just an iPad. It's all here. So let's dig into it right now. As you can see, this is my main Nuendo screen. And the first thing you can see at the top, it's written Cubase, not Nuendo. Yeah. And that's actually my first wish list. Metagrid does have a set of commands and also layouts for Cubase, but not for Nuendo. Cubase and Nuendo are kind of similar, but they are not the same definitely. And I wish that Metagrid once had a set of commands just exclusively for Nuendo. Anyway, this is my custom setup. As you can see, these are groups of buttons. Here are some buttons for file operations like importing, exporting, opening, and rendering video as well. Then I have some of my basic MIDI commands, then some operations for audio clips I'm using most, then some grid marker and transport options. Then some of my favorite restoration tools, mainly RX isotope, RX modules. Then at the very bottom come some uh, like general settings windows, for example, preferences, key commands, project settings, studio, audio connections, also my mixer uh, window and my video window are here, as well as media, media bay and ADR marker panel. And that's it. This is the main view. Let's get deeper into it. Let's press edit. Now you can see that the buttons beca became shaky a bit. And yeah, let's press one of the buttons, the first one. Here you have the general view of the button, how, how it presents, like this big icon. Then you have assigned actions. Let's press this. And here I can choose keyboard shortcuts, text input, pause, MIDI CC, note, a MIDI note command, program change, or UAAC, keyboard maestro, or some exclusive Cubase commands. Some of them work in the window, but some also doesn't, so I had to make them custom. Yeah, and that's it here. And remember, I told about this in one of previous episodes. You can create powerful sequences, macros here, which are really, really great feature. Then comes the button text, so just the name you give your button. Then you can hide or show the button on your grid. You can repeat the actions on long press and you can go back to the previous view actually with this function. And with assign view action, you can actually configure the button to press it and send you to another view from this button. Like for example, like I can perform a command and then skip to VSTI window. And it works like this. I press removed unused, and then I go to this view. I'm not using it right now, but I think it's also cool and probably kind of usable. Then comes the background color, and this is the color palette, a cool one, a fancy one for your buttons. And well, still, that would be cool if I could choose some hex colors whatsoever, uh, and not only using the palette that Przemek and his team made, that's one more wish list for the look of uh, Metagrid. Uh, then I can choose that I can have a border for the button without fill, it looks like this. Then I choose icon for my button, and icons in Metagrid, gosh, I don't even want to think, imagine how much work guys put into creating such an amazing set of icons for so many DAW and other software. This is set for Cubase, for Digital Performer, for Dorico as well. It's a relatively new one. Final Cut, Illustrator, Ableton Live, etc., etc., etc. Then I have some groups of icons like 
musical instruments, notation, waveforms. I have numbers, characters, symbols, arrows, keyboard, phone, programming, cursors, etc., etc. Guys, this is like these are these are probably like thousands of of icons. And wow, it's just pure wow. I, I mean, you can even get lost somehow, which is not good because the choice somehow maybe is even too large. The only thing I am missing here, and that's another of my wishes for the, for, for, for the future, is that I could up upload and use my own icons. The set of icons is vast and terrific, but it would be really great if guys could just upload and see their own icons. Yeah, hoping for that in any further versions. Let's quit this icon galore uh, <laughs> and let's move on. Show icon only with no text, so yeah, it's simple. Then icon color can be same as background color. And then comes the application name that's using this button. I can close and get back to the view to edit any of my other buttons, but I can also do it from here, as you can see, like one after another, plenty of options to choose from to make Medigrid work the way you want it to work. But buttons are just, of course, the, the end point. So let's get into view editor. And this is where you set up the grid for your current app you're using. And I've got two grids and two pages of buttons for my new window. So I have my main new window right view here and my VST instruments. I've shown them to you also before in one of my vids, I think. And of course, you can copy, delete, duplicate, create new views here, whatever. And then the views appear here at the bottom of the page as your pages for the current app. Let's get back for a while back to the view editor because one more thing, of course, you can edit the grid size of your current page in Metagrid. And finally, there is something called scene edit. So as you can see, my main uh, page is Nuendo 10, but I can give it a secondary view already like VSTIs. And then I have this shift like button here. So yeah, this is like, works like shift, let's say, in Metagrid. So I can also skip my views like this. Uh, I'm not using it right now, as you can see, let's turn it off. I can also choose the color for the background of this page. I can choose the icon of this page. I can also make it display icon only without text. Then it looks like uh, this. Uh, let's turn it off as well. I'm not really using it. You can also delete, duplicate and create new scenes. Guys, this is just the very beginning what Metagrid has to offer in terms of customizing it and make it, it your way. You can choose the size and layouts of the buttons. You can choose precisely the look, the colors, the backgrounds, the icons, the names of the buttons. Mostly and most importantly, you can choose what the buttons do as separate commands or macros. And yeah, I'm really looking forward to see more features. I know guys are cooking new things all the time. So expect new versions, expect new features. And guys, one more thing I would like to see there is that it would be really cool to have an option of editing a Metagrid from the computer. It would be great to have an app for this that works as my desktop app. That would be quite flexible and cool to have that choice. Then I could use even Metagrid to edit my Metagrid, right? <laughs> Maybe it's too far. Anyway, guys, this is still still really great. And I know that, that there's surely be going to be more to come from the guys. So my, I'm really waiting every time for a new version. For now, I stay happy and I enjoy working with Metagrid. Let's sum the things up. That was my sixth episode of Metagrid series I prepared for you, I tried to show you some of the best that Metagrid's got to offer to make your work more pleasant, more creative, and insanely, insanely fast. 
I hope you liked it. I hope you find it inspiring and that's gonna push you forward to look for new things in your work and to improve your workflows. And actually that was my initial deal with Przemek to make six episode and to see how how it goes and well i think we both enjoy it we both find it deeply satisfying so guys expect more i'm gonna talk about some new topics uh, with Przemek and i'm gonna be back very soon with more metagrid goodies take care keep using metagrid